So for today's Terrain Tuesday, we have a piece of Plasticville terrain that I am working on. Uh, Plasticville is a set of terrain that's existed since the 50s and hasn't changed much since then. So it actually works quite well for Fallout. Uh, it has that very 50s appeal to it. So this is what's called the Frosty Bar. So like a uh, milkshake or ice cream counter drive up kind of thing and you can see I've already modified the signage so now it's the rust bar uh, I've begun some work on the internals here uh, which I shouldn't have done yet but I was experimenting with uh, basically some uh, sticky check paper to make like a diner uh, floor and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off so what I'll do is I'll lay down some painter's tape over it to save that for when I go ahead and prime this. Uh, I've also attached an Edertronic inside from the from Modifius's scenery pack. I've all, I've got this board cut to uh, size so that the bar will sit quite nicely on it. My plan is to have it kind of coordinated towards the front because then around the back I'm going to attach this one of the uh, dumpsters that came with the scenery pack uh, along with an ice machine all you know for, taken from the fallout game files so those will look quite good and I will have a nuka cola machine inside or maybe around the side we'll see how it uh, all fits together so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start priming things and getting things ready. I will attach this base to the wood base and then, like I said, mask this off, get a good basic prime on there, and we will start painting. So we've gone ahead and primed up our stuff. I've worked on the board a bit and as we can see here uh, I've gone ahead and glued down the building foundation, added the Nuka Cola, the ice machine and the trash. I've also gone ahead and applied some rubble piles and some sand very lightly this time as opposed to my previous work because I just want it more as a texture. So once we're done this will sit here. It's just being a little fiddly to get in right now. Uh, but anyway yeah it will all kind of pop in there. I may have to rearrange. Uh, that's what it is. This one's a bit loose. But that will all go in. So what I want to go ahead and do is just dark gray over this base. Uh, what we're looking for here is just to kind of take it to a stone. So I've got some Vallejo Model Air US gray. That's a nice darker gray that I like to use. And so we're just going to go ahead and airbrush this all. Okay, so we've gone ahead and darkened all of that. I'm going for more of an asphalt look, which is why I'm kind of just doing this dark gray. 
Uh, I'll probably have to do a second coat, but first I want to go ahead and slap some color, especially on the trash bin here, uh, which has that, uh, I want to get that nice green that we see in on the fallout uh, trash cans around Boston. I'm just going to hit here a bit though. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this nozzle real quick and we will apply the green. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Vallejo Pale Green, which while it is a lighter shade, I kind of like using these kind of pastel colors for Fallout stuff. Uh, it gives that kind of 50s aesthetic. Plus, once I apply the brown uh, wash for weathering, it will obviously darken up a bit. So here goes. Okay, so we can see that's pretty well done. Uh, so next up, what I'm going to look at doing is uh, applying some cream to the majority of the building, because I want to have an off-white, not an actual white. So I will clean the brush and we'll get onto that. Okay, so I have a cream I've gone ahead and mixed up myself. So we're going to go ahead and use this on the ice maker, for instance. First, I want to make sure I've gotten rid of all that green. Yep, so there's that. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of cover the ice maker real quick. Also going to go ahead and cover pretty much this entire building except for this front section uh, because for instance this is going to be all tile work uh, and I just want that off white and I'm not being overly cautious about spraying it on I don't really care if it runs a bit because if it runs, then it just looks like it's streaked from rain. So let's finish this. So, that's good. So we'll clean it and then I'm going to apply some blue for the Edotronic. For the Edotronic, I'm using a light sea blue from Vallejo's Model Air again. And we just need a little bit of this since we're just applying it to that Edotronic. Again, this is more of a pastel color. Um, so it should look quite nice. So let's see how it goes. Okay, quite a bit of overspray on that, so I'll fix it once it's dried by applying a bit more white. But I do like the color. It gives it a nice 
sharp detail piece in there. So I'll clean the brush again and then we'll do a bit of red on the Nuka-Cola machine. So for the Nuka-Cola machine, I'm going for a slightly darker red, fire red uh, from Vallejo, just to give it that little bit of age to it. Shouldn't be bright since it is an older machine. I've already, when I was applying the gray, hit the back components a little, uh, and I'll be cleaning those up with some brushwork. Again, we're just trying to block some color in right now. Next step is to go ahead and black out the remaining pieces that I want to have metallic, which is going to wind up being the uh, the top and some of the counters here, uh, so because I want the, the counters to be like a shiny diner kind of piece. Uh, so I am will clean the brush and we'll at least do this with airbrushing. This will brush because we don't want to disturb the rest of it. So I've gone ahead and kind of applied some basic masking here just to keep the black off of the white sections I want to keep on the sign. Uh, and then we're just going to use some basic model air black. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, and uh, then we can start getting into some detail work and cleaning some things up. Alright, as you can see, we've got uh, some metallic bits done. The blue cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, so that would be the outside piece. That's going to be able to slot right there. I've also gone ahead and started picking out a few details. Uh, nothing too terribly much yet. Just the pistol and some bottles. I'll coat those with some contrast. Uh, let's see. Focus that in a bit. You can see there's a, a pile of bottles there. A 10 mil pistol, a uh, file folder, a ammo case, and a med kit all in there. Uh, need to have some details put on it. I've also kind of put some metal on the interior of the Nuka-Cola machine, clean that up a bit. So we're almost ready for mounting. Uh, let's see if I can get this to separate now. There we go. So rust bar sign. I'll have to decide on some color for that, but we've got the shiny metal top. And this will be black and white uh, tiling there, a little bit along the runner. Same on the other side, so I think we're doing pretty well. Just a couple detail pieces to go and gluing everything down. I'm going to do a black wash on this for the tarmac kind of section. Uh, before everything will get a brown wash at the end of the day. So that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, so we should finish this up next week. <laughs> 